20-year-old orphan boy Jane brought home to adopt has turned out to be a great pugilistic prospect. And instead of adopting him, Mr. Race, with Jane's brother Johnny, have decided to groom him for the ring. Johnny thinks the boy needs a big publicity build-up. And so Marge's friend, Neil Williams, the newspaper reporter, has been invited over for this evening. Our scene now is the Ace's bungalow, where we find Jane busy with her sewing, telling Marge the details. And that's why they wanted you to invite Neil over tonight. I'll bet this is Johnny's idea. Ace wouldn't go for that. Yes, Johnny thought of it. He said it's the only way to make Kofi the overweight champion of the world. <laughs> the overweight champion. <laughs> well, don't laugh. You don't know how he can fight. Why, do you think if I didn't believe he'd be the overweight champion, that I'd be sewing these fighting trunks for him? Well, Johnny says he's marvelous. Such shoulders, he said, and such a back. Mm, yes, but the boy's never fought in his life. You know how enthused Johnny can get over anything. I'm surprised that Ace going for it, though. He's usually more level-headed about these things. I'll bet Neil won't fall for it. I'll bet he'll say Cokie's marvelous, just like everybody else does. Oh, who's everybody else? Johnny and Ace? Well, they're the only ones that saw him so far. Yes, and all they saw him do is work out in a gymnasium. That's where they are now, isn't it? Yes, but they'll be back before Neil comes. I hope so, because I'm afraid it's going to take a lot of convincing to make Neil see his way clear to getting a lot of newspaper publicity for a prize fighter that never had a fight. Well, didn't you see the way he knocked down Johnny and Mr. Oh, Mr. sure. Johnny and Ace were cinches. But what'll he do when he meets a real prize fighter? Yes, I'll have to teach him how to meet people, I guess. They didn't teach him very much in the orphanage. Oh, they're back. That's good. Uh, just a minute. I told Neil to drop in early, too, as you asked me to. I understand the kid has to be in bed every night by ten. Yes, Johnny says every night at ten. Oh, Neil. Hi, Jane. Hello, Neil. It's Neil, Marge. Well, you're even earlier than I asked you to be here. Well, I couldn't stay away, fair lady. Oh, stop it. I thought you had some work at the office. I did have, but you kind of got my curiosity wetted. What's uh, going on here, anyway? Well, it's the most exciting thing. Oh, sit down, Neil, and take off your coat. Huh. It's been a long time since you were here. Yeah, I've been thinking that myself. Why wasn't I asked? Well, Mark says you're always working. Oh, he is, Jane. He's always busy. You should have seen the time I had getting him to come out tonight. I'm just playing hard to get. It works with some girls. Of course, if you want to be the superior type... Oh, now that'll be about <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, Neil, do you know what's happened? I uh, got kind of uh, an incoherent story from Marge. Or did she tell you about Koki? Yeah, it seems like you've got a gold mine there. No, he's a pie fighter. Oh, who's he for? What? Has he had any fights? Oh, two. He had one with Mr. Ace and one with Johnny. <laughs> That's his record today. Did he win both of them? Did he? Well, I hate to say this about my own husband, but he knocked him down and he couldn't get up even if he is my own husband. <laughs> Who knocked who down? That's a little ambiguous. Koki knocked Ace out, and then later did the same thing to Johnny. Oh, two knockouts to his credit, huh? Well, if you want to call that a credit, going around knocking out a couple of saucers. Johnny says he's going to be the overweight champion of the world. <laughs> the overweight champion. What is all this, a gag? No, they're on the level, both of them. Johnny and Ace both in on this? And Koki, he's the main one. I'm throwing these fighting trucks for him, see? Yes, I see. Uh, what's this stripe here? Why yellow? Oh, that was Mr. Ace's idea. A yellow stripe? Well, I don't like that color either, but he said that when Koki has his first fight, he might have a stripe of yellow up his back, and I thought, just a match, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I see, just a match. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, how do I fit into the picture? I mean, I'm not a fight expert. Well, to be frank with you, the boys rather expected you'd start a newspaper campaign and give Koki a build-up. A newspaper campaign? Yes, I think they want you to do the usual thing that's done about prize fighters, give him color and all that. Oh, I see. And what made him think I could get anything into our paper about a pug that's never had a fight? But he had two of them. Oh, Jane, don't you see? Those are not fights. Well, I saw it. You saw what? I saw Johnny's eye and I saw... Yeah, but what chance would he have against a regular boxer? That's the question. By the way, where is he? I'd like to have a look at this. Oh, he's with his managers, working out. This time of night? Well, Ace can't take time off his business to watch him, so Johnny arranged a little workout tonight. Where? Over at the house. There's a gymnasium in the Everett home. Oh. Well, uh, maybe I should have gone over there. Well, it would have served a better purpose, but I think they want to talk to you anyhow. They're convinced they've got something. Mm Mm-hmm. How how big a guy is he? Oh, about 5'11 or more. He's a heavyweight, all right. Probably just a big guy with a lot of muscle, all brawn and no brain. Yes, probably. (laughs) Just a minute. You can't say that. After all, he is our boy. Your boy? Oh, he is not. They were thinking of adopting a child, but they didn't. A child? Well, how come this six-footer? Well, it was all a mistake. Well, I still think of him as my boy. Oh, 
My humble apologies, little mother. Oh, that's all right. You didn't know how I felt about him. No, I didn't. You see, Jane came home with a 20-year-old orphan. What? Well, the orphanage is going to let him out next month. They always do when they reach 21. The aces haven't adopted him. Ace is just getting him this start in life. A start is a pug, huh? Well, if he has anything to him, or if he's one-tenth as good as they say he is, it's some start in life. Wait a minute now. Uh, let me get this all straight. They expect me to work up a newspaper campaign about a prize fighter who's never had a fight. Is that it? Oh, I knew it would come up to that, but I wanted you to hear it from Ace. Well, uh, don't you think that's asking a little too much? Even if I could do it, I don't own this paper, you know. I just work on it. I could get the sports editor to run some stuff, but I'd have to have a legitimate excuse. You can't call this cokey legitimate. Please, Neil. Huh? <laughs> you were saying just what I did a few minutes ago, Neil. Of course, if the kid had a fight under his belt and showed some promise, then it might be different. And even then, I don't know if... Oh, here they are. Now you'll see him, and you'll see just as how marvelous he is as I told you. Wait till you see his shoulders and his back. <laughs> yes, Mother, we know. <laughs> She's been sold, hasn't she? Dear, where's Pokey? Staying over at Johnny's for the night. Staying at Johnny's? But he can't do that. He can't Oh, say... hello, Neil. Hi, mister. I haven't seen you in months. Uh, go easy on that arm, please. Well, what's uh, this? Here, uh, help me off with this coat, will you? Sure. Well, what's the matter with you? Oh, I had to play medicine ball with the kids. Medicine? He's sick. I knew it. Why didn't you tell me, dear? Where is he? I oh, had to go to stop her, somebody. I haven't the strength. There's nothing wrong with Kulky, oh. Jay. But he just said he said they were playing medicine ball. It's a ball they throw around at each other. <laughs> Kind of got you, huh? Why do I have to start throwing a medicine ball just because he has to get into shape? Now, sit down and take it easy. Oh. I'd like to see this big fella. I'm sorry. He's not a... and Johnny do road work early every morning, so they decided he might as well stay overnight there, and they can both get up early. Oh, but why did you let him stay there? It was all right with me. There was some talk of running cross-country back here. Thank heaven I was spared that. <laughs> well, it won't hurt you. No, it darn near ruined me tonight. Well, you boys would have your prize fighter. Oh, hey, Neil, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh. Johnny thinks the way to get this boy into the big money is to give him a big newspaper build-up. And we thought that you being on a newspaper and a sort of a friend of the family by proxy... Now, that... wait a minute. We've been talking about that. Oh, then you know what oh, we're... Oh, why did you let him stay there all now, night? Now, Neil, we... Oh, Jane, he's all right. Johnny will look after him better than you can. He thinks he's got a gold mine in that kid. What makes him so sure? Has he ever seen him fight? Has he? We all did. You don't mean this little street fight, you might call it, that he had here with you and Johnny. Street fight? What are you talking I wish I had brought him back here. I wish you could have seen the right the kid has. I wish you could have seen the way... Dad, who are you calling? Oh, he shouldn't have let him stay there all night. Well, what are you going to do? Stand for no, him? No, but I want to see what... Oh, hello. Um, let me speak to Cokey, please. Will you please put that for... Oh, my back. Uh, Cokey, he's with Johnny. Yes. But don't you see, Ace, that prize fighters aren't made just with a couple of lucky punches? Lucky? Well, you can't call yourself a pro fighter or Johnny either. Just because he's managed to land a right on either of you is no sign that he's got ability in that direction. Hello, Cokey. But it wasn't lucky, Neil. Uh, this is Mother Cokey. Mother. <laughs> I just found out that you're going to sleep there all night, and I was kind of worried about you. Isn't that awful? Why does... Uh, yes, I know you're all right, but I was worried about that hole in your left sock. I didn't get the darn it, so when you go to bed, take it off fast before Johnny or anybody sees it. <laughs> now, that's the true mother instinct. That's what I have to put up with. Yes, and I just want to say good night, Cokie. Yes, good night. Sleep tight, and don't forget to say your prayers and brush your teeth. Is he all right, Jane? Yeah, he's all right, but I don't like to have him staying out all night. He's got plenty of time for that later. Listen, later he's going to be on his own as soon as we get him set. Now, how about it, Neil? Well, that's not a fair request. Why not? It's done every day. I'd like to do it, but I can't. If I saw the kid fight and saw that he had possibilities of some sort, well, then I might... Say, I've got it. What? I can get him a fight tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yeah, at the Coliseum. Tomorrow night's the night they have about ten bouts. I can get him a match. You can't? I mean, do you think that he's ready? Well, to... I don't know about that. You ought to know. You've been watching him work What's out. What's the matter, Ace? Getting cold feet about your slugger? Cold feet? No, it, it's just that... Well, I don't know why he shouldn't. Uh, who are these boys that fight there tomorrow night? Oh, all ambitious kids. Lightweights, heavyweights. They put on some great scraps there. Well, do you think on this short notice that oh, you Oh, sure. Could... I know Mike Wheeler. Do a lot of favors for him. He'll be glad to put them on. Uh, then we can really see what you've got. Uh, tomorrow night, huh? Yeah. Want me to arrange it? Well, now, wait a minute. Maybe I ought to call up Johnny. He's got half of it. All right, if you want to, call him up. I will. If he says it's okay, you can go ahead and arrange the thing. Well, why don't you two gentlemen shove your young man around? Well, that's the way it goes in the fight racket. 
Don't you think he's rather short notice to put Cokie in, a fi- in the ring? Well, if he's as good as they say he is, there shouldn't be any worry about the outcome. I'm rather anxious myself to see how he does. Johnny's the one that's been shouting what a gold mine we've got. Oh, I see. All ready with the alibi. No, I'm not alibying. I just... Uh, hello, is that you, Johnny? <clears throat> yeah, uh, listen, I just spoke to Neil. He, he's over here now, and he... What? Well, let me tell you. Uh, he says that he'd like to see what stuff Cokie has before he promises any newspaper publicity, and he wants to arrange a bout for him for tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow night at the Coliseum. He says he knows a promoter there and he can get him a match. How about it? Well, yes, I know it's short notice. I just... more cold feet. But if he's as good as you've been saying he is... Yes. O- okay, then. I- I'm going to have him arrange it. Yeah. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, it's a deal. Well, that's settled. Cokie fights tomorrow night. And so it's arranged to find out just how good this kid Cokie is. We learn about that when next we meet the Easy Aces. 